stands packed for it should be a good game today. Yeah, look, we welcome the, the fans. We we like the fans support, um, and hopefully that'll energize us a little bit and see if we can get the offense rolling. How much have you enjoyed seeing this rivalry kind of escalate and evolve over the last couple of years, given the back and forth, the playoff series? Yeah. How much? How enjoyable has that been? I, I don't know if enjoyable is the right word. Uh, it's a really good team that we get to play 19 times, so I could come up with other words to describe it. But they're, they're you know, we, we got to find ways to beat them to win uh, because they're in our division. We play them a lot. What would what, you use to describe it? I don't know. I'm not sure. You got there watching Kit throw. Earlier. Yeah, yeah. How's that look? Look good. I think he's going to try to get off the mound tomorrow. Felt. Um, Felt like you know some of the issues have kind of subsided a little bit. Now we'll take that next step and go to the go to the mound. Still thinking around the eligibility date or so. Yeah, what I don't, I'm not sure exactly what date that is. I mean, he's going to throw a bullpen and probably throw some sort of a live while we're gone, if all continues, and then we'll decide whether he gets an outing in Port Charlotte or Durham, whatever's needed. Gotcha. We saw a couple of injured guys in there. Patino threw a bullpen today. Yeah. Felt good. Nick Anderson threw a bullpen. So progress just. Just a lengthy right, and process. you know when Boz is throwing again, it'll just be a five or six days from the yeah. last one. Yeah, he's on normal rest, I believe, uh, this turn. So it should be the fifth day. Yeah, you played when this team was still the Devil Rays, and you were in the Devil Uniform City. Mm -hmm. Kind of think about the progress and the, the evolution of from that segment of the franchise to how good you guys have been the last. Yeah, I mean, look, years. I think when Stu took over and and. and Matt, Brian, Andrew, everybody kind of came in. It, it, it turned some things around. This franchise has been, has been pretty successful since Stu's acquisition of it, the ownership group, and you know the name change, whatever. But I uh, like that the, the product that we're putting out on the field. You had, you were the green, right? Um, I did. I believe so. Do you have that jersey anywhere? No. <laughs> no. Kevin, you mentioned getting the offense going. What is, do you think it is going to take against another good pitcher that you're seeing today? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, you know. Stay out of the mode of trying to get three hits and one at bat. Maybe just have quality at bats, pull some positives from each individual at bat, and you know, have some guys feeling good about themselves. Right now, I don't think there's too many guys that are feeling that great uh, because they're not getting the results that they want. But you know, that can quickly change. Manny talked about how he's mentored Wander a little bit. Have you seen some of the veterans pull him aside and just to kind of help him break through this slump a little bit? Uh, I, look, I see Manny having a conversation with him quite a bit. Um, you know, I mentor, maybe. I mean, but I think Wander's is he's his own man, and, and uh, he's going to learn a lot more just with experiences. But his teammates certainly are very supportive of him, uh, and all all the guys that are maybe scuffling a little bit. Move G man up just to get him to play one. No, it's just center. more balance with, with me. He's normally hitting third. Um, they got a couple lefties in there. See if we can avoid him facing a lefty later in the ballgame. All right. Yep.